Root lets go the fatal throw, and the babe socks it into the bleachers for his first homer of the series. A mighty smash, bringing his team a lead of three runs and starting the avalanche, which gave the Yanks seven and Chicago five when the game was over. And now for game number four. Here That ball blazed like a bullet when he connected. This is the sight the fans came to see. Ruth circling the sacks after a circuit clout. Ruth hit his 60 homers in 1927. Watch him, fans, as he swings around the bases. You're watching Diamond History. This was Babe Ruth, Mr. Baseball. The Babe was a metaphor for the big, broadening shoulders of America. Ruth himself once said, I like to live as big as I can. In an era when our country was burgeoning with power, no one hit the ball farther and louder than Babe Ruth. No novelist. ...transformed baseball. He practically invented the home run. In 1920, he hit 54, a total no other team in the league could match. And he did it with an exhilarating presence. Face each other once again, and here it is. Into the spot called Ruthville, the right field stands, and the Bambino trons the circuit path with the old familiar music in his ears. But marks this indeed one of baseball's greatest days is its contribution to the Army-Navy Service Fund of more than $80,000. Yes, sir, it still takes the old timers to do a bang-up job. Back in Cleveland, George Herman Ruth hit his 500th home run. Babe took a vicious swing at the third pitch ball, and the bat connected with a crash that was audible in all parts of the stand. While the crowd cheered and the Yankee players roared their greeting, the Babe made his triumphant, almost regal tour of the paths. This is Bill Slater with news shots from our sports album showing high spots in the early career of the most important baseball individual of all time, the immortal Babe Ruth. One of Babe's most unusual home runs, the Bambino slugs this one inside the park, races for the plate to beat the relay, and just hits the dirt before the ball. Wow, that was close.
to a nice little single into right field. There he is, safe at first. came in slowly, but it went out quite rapidly, and as Ruth circled the bases, he received probably the greatest ovation of his career. The biggest crowd rose to its feet and let loose the biggest shout in baseball history. Ruth. There was a joy that you had come to see something, and then when you saw it, you'd scream with delight. There was something different about that man. Out of the box, and by that time they were over there going crazy. The volume coming from the stands was so loud that some of the Cub players were running out of the dugout and cupping their hands with their mouths to make sure Ruth heard them. And then he makes his famous gesture. Well, I looked down at center field and I saw it. I said, I'm going to hit the next pitch ball right past the flag Well, good Lord, must have been with St. Louis kid named Johnny Sylvester and promised the boy that he'd hit him a home run, maybe two. Of course, he went on to hit three. Which is the second time that's ever happened in the World Series. 